everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood Company. We're at SEMA 2014, and uh, we're with Rick Dorr talking about the Black Pearl. This is a car that's gotten a lot of uh, interest. Can you tell me a history of how you know the concept started when you, you started building it? Yeah, sure, thanks for having me. Uh, I got a phone call from James asking me if I was up for an out-of-the-box custom, and I said, yeah, and he sent me a picture, and it was a picture of a 48 Jag that was here in Las Vegas, oh, four door. Cool. And uh, he bought it. We shipped it to my shop in Southern California. Pull the body off, the chassis was done. Uh, we put the body back on the chassis, started doing the body work, and as we got into it, it wasn't rust, but the car was very flimsy. And at best, after God knows how long we worked on it, we would have ended up with a European-looking custom car, a yeah. flat-top <laughs> European custom right. car. While this was going on, I had uh, developed a relationship with Marcel Delay. Everyone knows who Marcel is, and Luke, his son. And uh, I called up James, I said, hey, I got one foot in the door with Marcel. We could do all the styling and do a coach-built car. And he was like, holes out, he wanted to do it. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, we had a line drawing from Jimmy Smith that we started with that wasn't exactly what we wanted, but it was what we had told them in the beginning. Yeah. But when we sat down and blew it up to scale, it wasn't working. Okay. Regardless, uh, I was up at Marcel's every other day for a while while he made the skeleton. We got the right shape, the right lines, and then Marcel started doing his magic. Right. He shaped all of the panels by hand. It's coach built front to rear. Yep. The only thing that isn't hand built on this car are the side view mirrors. Mm -hmm. The headlights are from Headwinds, and uh, the rear view mirror, wheels and tires. Have a guess of how many pieces they had to make to make this. If I remember right, at the front fenders, I think there were nine pieces that they put together off of the skeleton. Right. They make a skeleton yep. out of square tubing and then shape the metal over it. I think just the front fenders alone, there were nine pieces to make that thing. It's incredible. Yeah, it's been I've... a great build. Uh, the body steel, yep. uh, the fenders are aluminum, mm -hmm. and uh, we debuted it at the Grand National in Pomona uh, about a year and a half ago in bare metal. Knocked everybody out. Yeah. James was real excited. I was. Marcel was excited to be able to show his, you know, craftsmanship yeah. in naked, yeah. fair. Yep. And uh, we showed it a few times, and then it went to Daryl Hollenbeck for paint. Mm -hmm. uh, did many 12 or 13 paint panels. We were trying to get pearl in it. It wasn't working, so we went with the PPG black that Daryl came up with. Okay. James isn't your typical car builder. He likes things out of the box, like I said at the beginning yeah. of the. Uh, the story. Uh, he didn't want to do it in chrome. He wanted to do it brass yeah. and leave it raw brass. And yeah. that's what we did. And it came out great. For some reason, it works on this car. Yeah. It's just scotch brighted. A flattener was put in the clear, and that was put over it. Uh, it's kind of got a patina look, but with the new paint in the background, you would think the contrast wouldn't be right, or right. it wouldn't look, but it, it worked. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It looks beautiful. All right, Rick, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And uh, good luck with the award then. Thanks for having thanks. me.